Profile pictures are used for almost every major social media platform you can think of. It is arguably the most important visual when it comes to social branding, and your profile picture is what people recognize you by alongside your username. There are several things you'll need to consider when creating a profile picture, and it's important for you to understand what makes a great display photo before you step out to take a headshot or have your avatar image designed. Hey, this is Nick from Snap, and in today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool profile picture suitable for all of your social media pages. So let's get right into it. So what you'll want to do first is make sure that you have the best profile picture image size so that your display photo is optimized to display with a high resolution so that your visuals are clear. The recommended profile picture size is 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. This is an aspect ratio of one by one. Please note that profile pictures on most social media platforms have a circular crop so you'll need to design within the proper safe zones. To make things easier, I'm going to be using Snappa to create a profile picture photo. Once I'm in, I'm going to navigate down to headers, banners, and profile images, and I'm going to click on profile picture. So once I'm in, I can either choose to create a profile picture from scratch, or I can scroll and navigate down and choose one of Snappa's free profile picture templates, and I can repurpose one of them to fit my needs. So before even selecting a template or designing a profile picture, it's important to understand what type of profile picture we're actually going for. So we actually wrote a full blog post about different profile picture ideas to help your social media presence. If you're struggling to find an idea or you're unsure as to what to design as your profile picture, check out our post and gather the different assets that are needed before you start designing. So when I'm talking about assets, I'm talking about certain things like having a professional headshot in hand. The most popular profile picture idea is to use a headshot so if you're looking to have this type of design make sure that you have a professional photo of yourself that is well lit and has perfect composition so that the circle crop does not crop out any aspect of the photo that is important alternatively you might be a brand or an association of some sort and you might need a brand logo make sure that you have that on hand along with different brand colors so that you can recreate something like this here in my case here, I'm actually looking to use a headshot with a bit of text, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this template here. So once I'm in, you'll notice that there's already a safe zone in place. This allows me to preview the circle crop on my social media profiles. So we can toggle the safe zone on and off by navigating to the top here clicking on the toggle safe zone. So once you export the image out of Snappa, the safe zone won't actually appear, but it's meant to be just a guide. So the first thing I'm going to do is replace this profile picture image with an image of mine. So I'm going to navigate to the graphics tab. And from here, I'm going to navigate to the folder with the image file, and I'm going to drag the image into Snappa. Once the image is uploaded, I'm going to hover over the image I just uploaded. I'm going to navigate to the top of the photo and click on crop and rotate. Since my image is a square, I actually want to crop it as a circle before I add it into the canvas. So I'll just navigate down to the circle tab here. From here, it'll turn this crop into a circle. Then I'll adjust the corners so that the crop is right and center. So I'm gonna click and drag it, decrease the size just a bit more and center my face to the circle. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to click apply. It's gonna say, are you happy with the changes? I'm going to click accept changes. Now that I have my image cropped, I'm going to go ahead and click on the photo on the canvas. I am then going to delete the layer with the trash can up top or the delete button. From here, I'm going to navigate back to the graphics tab. I'm going to click on the photo that we just uploaded. As it appears on the canvas, I'm going to drag out the corners and increase the size so that it's about the same as the previous photo. I'm going to drag and center it and I'm going to move the layer back a couple times. Now, if I wanted to keep the same design as the template, I can easily click on my profile picture and I can rotate it. I can also drag it back into position. In this case here, I kind of want to just keep the photo upright. So I'm going to rotate it back. And to edit the text, if you want, you can double click on it. You can change the font style to the font style of choice. You can edit the size by increasing or decreasing the font size. 
You could also bold and change the color of it to any color that you'd like. In this case here, I'm actually going to delete the text since I don't really want to add anything on top. So I'm happy with this profile picture and I can easily export this and use this as my profile picture for any of my social media profiles. But in this case, there are a few things that we can do to kind of spice it up a bit. So the first thing you can do is add a border. So as you can see, I've resized the photo a bit smaller than what the guide is so that there's a bit of room for a circular border on the outside and this will show up in your profile picture if you zoom out. To change the color of this border, I can simply navigate to the backgrounds tab. I can navigate to the colors tab and from here I can change the background color of choice. So if I wanted the background to be blue, I would click blue and you can see that the border is blue. If I wanted to change it to a black, I could do that as well and then the border is black. Similarly, I can do the same with the patterns tab. So I'll navigate to the patterns tab. As you can see, there's a bunch of gradient colors. So if I wanted to add a more gradient background, I can do so here. Once I click on one, I can also click on reposition it and move it around to where I want it to be. So if I want more of a pink gradient, if I want more of a purple gradient, I can drag it left and right. Once I'm done with that, I'll click apply. And just like that, I have a pink to purple gradient as a border. Now, if you are on the pro version of Snappa, an interesting thing that you can do is click on your profile picture and there's this feature called remove image background, which you can click on it. And just like that, the background of your image is removed so that it's just your face. So with this, I can increase the size of my photo, align it kind of with the circle border at the bottom here. And just like that, I have a colored background that I can also change from a gradient background to a colored background by navigating to the backgrounds tab, removing the gradient background, and then navigating to the colors tab here and changing the color to the color of choice. So if I wanted black background, if I wanted a green background, I could do that. So now that I'm happy with my profile picture image, I can remove the safe zone just to see what it looks like. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to rename the photo in Snappa. I'm also going to save it so that I can make modifications for the future. And finally, I'm going to download it to my desktop so I can upload it into the social media platform of choice. In this case, I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest possible quality. Now that it's downloaded to my computer, I can easily upload it into the social media platform of choice. So with Instagram, I'll navigate to profile. I'll click edit profile and I will change the profile picture by uploading the new photo. Once I'm here, I'm going to click on the place where I downloaded it, click on the photo and open. And just like that, my new profile picture should be changed. And as you can see, it is clear and it fits in perfectly to the circular crop of the platform. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like since it helps the channel a lot. Be sure to also subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more content just like this one. If you guys are looking for profile picture ideas and want me to make a video on that, be sure to drop a comment below and if we get enough requests, I'll go ahead and make a part two to this video. For now, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.